The interesting thing about Helene, Helene went from a Category 2 storm to a Category 4 storm right before landfall, and it did the, the rapid strengthening, and everybody it took it very seriously. Now, this one, I've already heard the, the rumblings because it, this went from a 1 to a 5, and everybody just went gangbusters. And in Florida, everybody that wasn't going to take it seriously all of a sudden did. And everybody keeps messaging me and saying, well, it's expected to weaken before it hits right yes but at the same time this is a very strong hurricane so even a little bit weaker is still extremely dangerous right now it's category four storm i just pulled this up two seconds ago i want to put this up here you will see it it comes in uh, this is the visible satellite and you can see the rotation the eye isn't all that clear at the moment it is expected to start clearing out pretty quickly so that's why the storm came down a little bit compared to yesterday. It was up at 180 mile per hour winds at the peak. It's 145 right now, but the hurricane hunters are already starting to find slightly stronger winds again. So this may be a five before it approaches Florida. Then it will slowly diminish in strength. That's the better way to say it. Weak? No. Category three storm with 125 mile per hour winds is not weak, but it will go across Florida. And the big danger is the storm surge. I was looking at some new data tries to take it in on the south side of Tampa Bay. I mean, if this thing does manage to go a little bit south of Tampa Bay, it may end up sparing Tampa a little bit of the flooding from the storm surge, but still the danger is ahead of it. Could be 10 feet or more of storm surge.